going on guys? I suspect this Nordine unit has bad valves or the valves are bleeding by. There's the model. Two and a half ton Nordine. It's been running for about 15 minutes now. The capacitor was bad when I got out here so I changed that. Our pressures. Let me try to move this away from the uh, condenser fan so you can hear them. Got about a hundred suction pressure and about two fifteen, I'll say, head pressure. It's about ninety-five degrees outside right now, and two fifteen looks like it converts to about one hundred four. Line temperature is just about a hundred. Keeps bouncing back and forth between like ninety-eight and one hundred and one. So I got like. Maybe four at best subcooler. Set these gauges back up and uh, suction converts to about 56. This is R22 by the way. Suction converts to about 56. Let's check that temperature. Got about four. It's almost acting like it's got an overfeeding metering device, like a really large piston. Um, but one other thing I noticed was if you're trying to determine whether it's an insufficient compressor, I guess you would say, is uh, disconnect the condenser fan motor. And with the condenser fan motor going off, this unit should build head pressure really quickly. I've already done this once. It took about three or four minutes to get up to about 325. Suction pressures coming up with it. So I only have about a two to one compression ratio basically. Now when I disconnect the fan I've got 300 and 100, 3 to 1 compression ratio. And like I said, it's 95 degrees outside. This thing should just scream up to 400. And it she just flutters and flutters and flutters. And pretty much doesn't doesn't go much farther than 325. It's a reset compressor, by the way. Let me plug this fan back in. Again, don't do what I did. Turn the unit off. Unplug the fan. But now what I was going to try... Sorry. What I was going to try is to pump down the unit. See if it'll actually pump down. We have the liquid valve closed. Yep. I don't know if you heard the compressor right there. It made a really funny noise. It wasn't internal relief or anything. It's hard to describe. Hopefully it got it on you could hear it, but it's trying to pump down. Mine sits about 20 feet. Maybe 30 at the most. But normally a working compressor, again, depending on extremes of line set, should be able to uh, pump into a, a vacuum. We're down to about 30, close to 35 PSI, and just hang in there. <laughs> Interesting. I'm gonna look into this some more. I may just shut it down and uh, the way it is and pop the uh, 
piston body open and see what size pistons in here, but I'm thinking the valves are bleeding by on the compressor, so we'll uh, we'll check that and see. Yeah, it looks like we're losing this compressor. Everything with the meter and device checks out good. See that compressor down there sweating like a pig. Your compressor should never sweat. If it is, it's getting liquid and trigger back into it. So we're going to uh, order a new compressor, but we'll uh, pack it up for now. Out here on this no cool call, it's like 83 in the house. Units running crazy high pressures. And uh, came up to the attic to take a look, see if I saw anything obvious. And that's the return. You see that? It's not even freaking connected to the unit. Look at this thing. Huh. connected here and that's it look at that somebody cut a hole didn't tape it wow that's some that's some good work right there I don't care what anybody says it took pride in that stuff all right now let me figure out how to seal this thing back up and uh Get them some cooling. Doesn't work well when you're sucking 140 degree attic air into the house.